So it's come to my attention that the crazy people of Animal Crossing are trying to sell pirate items for 100 Nook Mile tickets or more per pirate item. So I'm doing the community a service right now and I'm making another video on how to farm up these pirate items extremely quickly to one, show you that they're pretty much worthless because you can get a ton of them really quickly and two, to teach you how to farm these items up quick yourself. Because if you have 100 Nook Mile tickets to spend on something, you're probably time traveling anyways, so you might as well know how to farm these items up quickly. So we're going to show you exactly how to do it. First, obviously, you need to get Gulliver on your island. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well, it could be lemon, lemon, difficult lemon, but you need to get Pirate Gulliver on your island. Now, once we do this, we're going to have to talk to him over and over and over and over until he finally tells us to get the communicator. He should be nicknamed Blathers instead of Blathers because he talks so much. We finally got the communicator and there's some tricks to finding the communicator really quickly as well, which we're going to get into here if Gulliver ever stops talking. And it's super duper easy. Now that Gulliver has finally stopped talking, we gotta go swim and look for his communicator. The communicator is super easy to spot. You don't want to just pick up any shadow in the water. It's gonna be the smaller shadow like this one and it's not gonna move. Chances are this is gonna be his communicator. And wham bam, thank you ma'am, we got his communicator. We didn't even have to go that far. So don't bother chasing large to medium shadows through the water. The shadow is going to be stationary and it's going to be a small shadow. Now all we got to do is give him the communicator and we'll get on to the next step of this tutorial. Now that we have finished talking to Gulliver, just go ahead and go to your system settings. You're going to want to go to just one day forward because you need to collect the mail. This isn't going to hurt anything in your game, although if you have turnips, this will spoil turnips. And if you have an open plot on your island, chances are doing this will fill that plot as well. So those are the only two bad things other than maybe making some weeds proliferate on your island uh, that time traveling can do. And we're going to time travel more than one day. We're just basically just going to go keep going back or forward and back. And you can farm up Gulliver as much as you want. Now that we've changed the day to the next day so we can pick up the mail, just go ahead and save and end and reload back into the game. All right, now that we've loaded back into the game, you just got to go to your mailbox here real quick. Grab the... Oh, I got two items from Gulliver here. Ha 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 ha! I didn't realize I got him once before. Make sure to throw away the letters so your stuff doesn't fill up because I personally always forget to do that. All right, let's see what we got. Hopefully... We got one of the really cool items. Ooh, the pirate bandana. Okay, been looking for one of these bad boys. I really wanted the pirate hat. And we got the... Oh, yes, the pirate treasure robe. In the colorway... Wait, there's only one colorway for it. Um, yeah, awesome. Got the pirate treasure robe. Now, with this, obviously, you might get colorways you don't want. Or you might get duplicate items. But at the very least, you can trade those for other items that you're missing. The prices for these things are out of control, and the only reason they're out of control is because people are willing to pay that much. So stop being willing to pay that much, farm up your items, or counteroffer at a lower amount because they shouldn't be worth nearly that much. Now let's move on to the next step. You're like, how do you farm up Gulliver from here, right? I got the item, how do I do it more? Now all you need to do is go back to the day you found Gulliver, which is one day free previous, because you don't want to go more than one day. Just go... One day forward to get your mail, and then go one day back. And then all you gotta do is just search your beaches for Pirate Goldivar again, and you'll be good to go. Obviously, you have to save and reload the game first. So depending on how long it takes you to find Goldivar on your beach, uh, you could get an item about every maybe five minutes. I feel like that's a little long. Um, but just in case you're having trouble finding him on your beach, which it seems like I might right now, um, you could get them quicker than five minutes or around the five minute mark uh, to get each item. It's really not that bad. Rolled, how dare you want to leave, you dirty little penguin. You are betraying my trust. Now, there is another trick that you could do. If you really, really wanted to lock this down being the quickest possible, you could use fences and other items to completely block areas on your beach. And you could force Golivar to spawn in one spot. So you could literally have him spawn like right in front of the beach, like in front of your house if it's near there. And you could farm him up incredibly quickly instead of having to search for him each morning. But that's completely up to you. That's kind of a lot of extra work to do it and it's definitely not necessary. 
he would be at the total opposite end of the beach. He, like, never spawns over here. But basically, the game is now going to register that you never did anything with Golovar the first time. So you're going to be able to do it a second time. And you just keep continuously repeating this process, getting your pirate items, and you can get the entire set very, very quickly. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if it helped you in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next one.